Sims, it's Spacey Sims, and we are back with more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. And we are in the middle of the case, and we are finding out how Junko is still alive. So we're gonna hop right in. But still, if she were alive somehow, could it be that Junko's not the one that died? It wasn't Junko, but someone else entirely? Maybe she used some sort of trick. Okay, cool. She was... Okay, let's see. I think she was replaced? Can you shoot that? No, you can't. Oh, shit. Okay. You've got to follow it exactly. I was hoping you could just shoot letters, but you gotta do it in order. That's why I tried that. That's it. That's weird. What if she switched places okay. with someone else? Switched places? That's right. Before the spears could kill her, she got someone to take her place. Specifically, Mukuro Ikusaba. Then that would make it Mukuro's corpse that showed up later. Which is why the body's height and weight and everything match Mukuro's profile, right? I don't know anything about this switching places thing, but... That had to be Junko who got stabbed to death, right? Yeah, you're saying they switched? When could they even have done that? They would have to have done it before we all woke up, because we would have recognized her. Right when she was uh, about to die? Like she used some kind of ninja replacement technique? Because we would have known, like, if you switched body, like, if, oh, ah, uh, la 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 la, Monday and Tuesday, Junko is Junko, and then all of a sudden Wednesday, Junko is not Junko, you would freaking notice. So they had to have done it from Good the very point. beginning. There's just no way they could have switched like that. So maybe the whole idea is wrong. There has to be some way. I need to figure out how to explain how they could have switched. They switched from the very beginning. She was never Junko. The two of them may have switched places from the very beginning. What? From the, the beginning? Yes, from the moment we first met. If that's when they switched... Then Junko then would never Junko. they to switch at the moment of death, right? And we never would have known. After all... The one we saw at that point would have already been Mukuro. Uh, hold on. So you're saying the Junko we first met? If she's the mastermind. This is fucking is brilliant. Actually, Mukuro all along. That's brilliant. Damn. Then we'd already met her. I had like a normal conversation with her. When we first met, none of us knew who anyone else was. So Mukuro could have simply told us her name was Junko. And we never would have known the difference. Yeah. That would easily allow the two of them to switch places from the very beginning. And even though she's a model and we saw pictures of her, you know what I mean? Like models and people, like celebrities, nothing like they do in photos in real life because they have tons of makeup on, so... But Mukuro had a tattoo on the back of her hand, right? Good cover-up makeup. That's my guess. Junko never had any tattoo like that, did she? She could have hidden it with foundation or something like that. Well, yeah, because she would have good makeup if being she a model. Did, it likely melted away in the explosion, exposing the tattoo after the body was extinguished. Plus, there were the fake nails found on the hands of Mukuro's body. They were the same fake red nails she was wearing when we all met for the first time. But if she really did use foundation... Correct. Even if there was no tattoo on her hand, I couldn't say for certain it wasn't Mukuro. So I'm glad nobody noticed that glaring hole when we were trying to figure out who attacked Makoto. But too bad for you, Monokuma. You can't deny it anymore. Wait, so this whole thing was a setup from the very beginning? Apparently. If that's true, it was quite an elaborate plan to be sure. Making it look like Mukuro was Junko. Junko is a secret student then. 
The reason such an elaborate plan was possible is because the two of them were working together. So Mukuro, the ultimate despair, teamed up with someone like her. In other words, it would be fair to say that Junko herself was also the ultimate despair. What's wrong? Lost the will to fight back? I think he's just afraid. Afraid? What's that mean, afraid? Fear is only possible where hope is possible. I only have despair, so fear is an alien concept to me. Then why haven't you been saying anything? Because it's a bunch of nonsense. Junko's my secret identity. <laughs> As if. Then why did you try and protect Junko's real identity? That sounds like something Junko would say. I tried to protect her identity. When did I do that? He still refused to admit it, but... He can try to deceive us all he wants. It doesn't matter, because I've already figured it out. He tried to hide Junko's identity, and not just once, but twice. The first time was during our latest investigation. Well, the photo, right? But... When he turned off the interviews, we never saw Junko, right? I got it! While I was in the AV room, watching the DVD yeah, of our interviews... It turned the off. Before the end. It wasn't just the monitor, the DVD player itself had apparently turned off. Which of course meant that the DVD wasn't playing anymore. Well, what the heck just happened? It's that and the photo. Oopsie, looks like a Oopsie, looks like it broke out of service. What? It just so happened to break just now? Now, then, when? Doesn't matter. Failure can strike anywhere, anytime. That's what failure is, right? You made sure I couldn't finish watching the video. And the reason you did that was to hide Junko's face. Because you didn't want me to see the real Junko, did you? Oh, yeah. If everyone was in that video, of course Junko would have had to show up. And if Makoto saw the real Junko, it would have been totally obvious that the Junko we met was an imposter. But that whole power outage thing was just a fluke. No, it wasn't a fluke. The mastermind definitely orchestrated that power outage. And that's not the only time they tried to hide Junko's identity. The mastermind tried to cover up one other piece of evidence. I gotta reveal that. The photos, because her face is always covered. Bam! Here we go. Better luck next time. Better luck next time! Rawr! Better luck next time! Are you sure about this? You're getting all riled up! That's impossible! Okay, hold on. That's impossible! This should prove it. There we go. I was like, it's not that photo! <laughs> I gotta hit the Q button this time! The video wasn't the only thing you tried to cover up. You did the same thing with this group photo. Uh, uh oh. I noticed it just a little while ago when we were all comparing the photos we'd gotten. In all the photos, there's a certain similarity, an unusual circumstance. Joko has no face. Uh, what's so unusual about them? The unusual circumstance common to all these? No Junko face. No Junko face. No Junko face. No Junko face. <laughs> the unusual circumstance is Junko's face. Junko's face. The one thing common to every single photo is that you can't see her face. Which is a lot to orchestrate. Thank you. 
It's hard to believe her face would just happen to be hidden in every single picture, don't you think? And on top of that, in this photo, you can see that Mukuro is clearly visible. So in other words, at that point, the two of them hadn't switched yet. With all that in mind, there's no doubt that the girl whose face is hidden here is the real Junko. Which is why you had to have pictures that didn't show her face. Because if we could have seen her face, then it would have clearly revealed that the Junko in the pictures wasn't the Junko that we knew. Woo! Love it! I believe everything Makoto said is true. Junko and Mukuro switched places before we met either of them. Well, after we forgot that we knew them. So she killed Mukuro, who had taken her place, making it look like she died. And the real Junko is still alive. And she's the one behind this whole murderous situation. This killing game. That is crazy! She's the true mastermind and the ultimate despair. That's awesome. Yeah, two times two. I love Junko, but obviously Junko wasn't Junko, but still. With this, the identity and the crimes of the mastermind have been exposed. And I was there the whole time, like, if it's Junko, like, why'd she die so fast? That explains why she died so fast. And oh my god. No, no, wait, hold on. Don't bother trying to deny it. There's no more room for debate. You don't have anywhere left to run. I'll prove everything right now. Fisticuffs. Closing argument. Oh, crap. Okay, so let's see something. Okay, so this is everyone. Oh, I need to... How do I switch these again? No, how do I... I want to I wanna switch them. No, 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 no. How do I... Crap. Okay, there we go. I'm assuming it's this one, I guess, and then, and what's this then, uh, uh, let's see something, no, hold on, no, come on, I'm trying to go down here, oh, whoops, I'm hitting the wrong button, uh, that would be this, I think, and then you cover up Juko's body, and then she comes in, to steal the knife and tries to stab us and then she chases him away i think and then hold on uh then this one no wait that one then this one she's coming in and now the killer's running away i think and then taking off the mask putting it on her and then we find the body she goes to lift the mask and the body blows up and June goes the killer is I think you I think we met the ultimate fashionista Junko and Oshima right after we all arrived here but that wasn't the real Junko The girl we saw before us was actually the 16th student who had taken Junko's place. And that girl's name was Mukuro Ikusaba. But it wasn't long before she died at the hands of Monokuma. In other words, the mastermind... Because she got pissed off, so she was probably pissed because they were in it together and Monokuma said something, and I can't remember what happened, but... And Monokuma set it up on purpose Junko to kill her. And Oshima. I can't believe it. So good! Her body was kept in a bio lab, which had been converted into a moor. Oh my god! Until Junko decided to put her body to use. Junko dragged the body out of the bio lab, using the tarp to carry her to the garden. But I'm assuming that's probably a wig, so why didn't she take the wig off? She fabricated the murder to try and frame Kyoko, who'd proven to be one big thorn in her side. Meanwhile, she wanted us all to think Mukuro was still alive and hiding somewhere inside the school. Oh. Okay, so that's not the right... Okay, hold on. 
Wait, so... This, and then this. Okay. The killer is you! Okay, so it's those two. Meanwhile, okay. She wanted us all to think those ones are hard, they kind of look the same. Alive, and hiding somewhere inside the school. Those look the same, so I don't know. <laughs> okay. So she oh, put that's her mask in the room, okay. And then attacked me. After making sure I'd gotten a good look at the mask, she left the room. This is amazing. Then she put the same mask on Mukuro's body. This was all to make us think the person who attacked me and the corpse were one in the same. She wanted us to believe the murder had only recently taken place. Finally, by strapping a bomb to the body, she was able to destroy any remaining evidence. She needed to hide the body's true identity. She had to make sure we didn't find out it was actually the same person we'd met in the beginning. This is the truth behind Mukuro's murder. And the one who carried it all out is the true mastermind. It's crazy! The one controlling Monokuma. The real Junko and Oshima! <laughs> this game is great! That's it's the whole story great. behind this incident. Well, what do you have to say to that? That's what I have to say. Try and applause. Nothing. Nothing. Still nothing. More nothing. What? Are you broken again? You can't get out of this, so don't even try. Come on! It's time you finally revealed yourself! It's not like you're an endangered species or something. How long do you plan to keep hiding? She's out. She just ran. Give it up, Junko. The game's over. No, it's not. Over? <laughs> Did you really think the story would end once we reached the climax of the case? Wrong! There's still plenty more to go! She just magically appeared. We have been waiting, waiting so very long for peasants like you to appear. She's like the fucking queen? If you swear your fealty to us, we will reward you with half of the entire world! It's totally not how I envisioned her voice, obviously, because... We've even drawn up the deed already! We will grant you honor, status, in some of our home cooking! I, I gotta be honest with you, her voice is crazy. She looks pretty much just like Have you made your the choice? original one, anyway. Will you serve under us? Uh... But... but what happens if we choose no? Oh, did you think I was being serious? Sorry, I was just messing with you. It's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. Okay, that's not actually her voice, that was an act. Okay, I was like, um, dude, that's just randomly bonkers. This is the mastermind? She's the real Junko anyway. Inoshima. Looks like I've finally been set free. She kind of looks like the original one. Having so. to play Monokuma all the time, day after day. It was like I was stuck in purgatory, or like a slow suicide. I get bored so easy, you know? Oh my god, her voice is so monotone, and this is how she talks. I kind of hope she kills us. Your face! Huh? What about my face? What's wrong with my beautiful face? People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. I feel like this isn't the first time I've seen you. No, I do remember seeing it. I'm sure I've seen her too somewhere. It was definitely before I got to the school. Uh... 
It was before, because she's a model, yeah. right? That's right. It was before I ever came to this school. I remember seeing a magazine cover. Yeah. Yes. And you were on it. Yeah, they, they showed us that when we got here. Wow, you have a pretty good memory. I guess that's why you've made it this far, huh? So I was right. Then what you told me in the main hall when this all began... I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Huh? Uh, are you talking about my cover photos on junk? Uh, well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Yeah, right? Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk? <laughs> oh, so they aren't real. Sometimes a little lie is necessary to keep things moving along. Wouldn't you agree? It smells like cinnamon in my apartment suddenly. I don't know where it's coming from. That explains why she didn't quite seem the same. Because she was a different person all along. I'm me. And Mukuro is Mukuro. She tried her best. But there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. Yet yeah, she is so bland, it's Two killing me. Two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. I, I like the Mukuro Junko better because this girl is killing me. Like, I'm gonna die with how boring she is. Not even if they're twins. Twins! Oh my. You know, it's such a cliche, right? I'm almost embarrassed to admit it. So they were related. So wow. basically, Mukuro and I had your stereotypical twin relationship. That's why she looks pretty much like the, the original. sister, tough and proud. That was Mukuro. The younger sister, smart and cute. That was... <laughs> Me! Junko fucking Anishima! Well, she's fucking crazy. And together, we were the Despair Sisters, a.k.a. the Ultimate Despair! She is fucking crazy. Oh, she's a total. She's been different person three now. different people in this entire time. Like three different people. She's got more personalities than Toko. That's scary. Like I said, I get bored easy as hell. I even get fucking bored with myself. But if, if you're twins, why do you have different last names? Oh, that again? You have any idea how many times people ask me that shit? Maybe it's new to your dumb ass, but it pours me to tears. Answering the same questions over and over? Just make up whatever answer you want. I don't give a shit. The truth's fucking lame anyway. But if she was your twin, that means you killed your own sister? And for reasons deeper and darker than the ocean. Ha! <laughs> As if! Well, I suppose I'd better explain. Oh my god. For my plan to work. Someone had to be able to control the killing game from behind the scenes. Oh my god, okay. I'm actually starting to really love her. I liked her in the very beginning, and I said she died, but I love her more now that she's fucking crazy. Because she's got a new personality every two minutes. It's so great, I love it. Oh my god. The so-called mastermind had to operate Monokuma, keep an eye on everyone, things like that. But after looking at the situation, I determined it would be impossible for Mukuro to perform such duties. Because naturally, she turned out to be the letdown of the family. Leaving me behind to run off and join some band of mercenaries. Such a disappointment. So, I decided to play the role of director and have her join the rest of you in your school life. I could have let her work alongside me, but she would have been useless to me that way. Besides, Fifteen students seemed like a solid number to start with. Of course, the fact that she was the ultimate soldier posed something of a problem. She had what I call the three atrocities. Atrociously rank, atrociously filthy, atrociously repulsive. It was atrociously clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society. Meanwhile, my ultimate fashionista status has an undeniable appeal that I didn't want to go to waste. And that's... why you switched identities? Sadly, her inability to match my personality was even greater than I'd calculated. It was a lost cause. She was nothing more than a bit player, an extra unworthy of lines. Being the utter disappointment that she was, anyone would have expected her to get killed off right away. Which is precisely why I killed her. 
to meet everyone's expectations. That can't be your own wow. reason, can it? Well, no, of course not. I also did it to avoid becoming bored. I've never been a stickler for following a plan to the letter, you know? If I planned everything out and knew just what was gonna happen, that'd be so boring. Oh my god. So, I changed things just a bit and decided to use Mukuro to make a little point. In other words, Mukuro's death was a one-sided, premeditated act of betrayal. God damn. Just as I suspected. When Mukuro was killed, she must have been as surprised as anybody else. Oh my god, this is great. I'm so glad this part's voice acted. What? Huh? This wasn't supposed to... Why me? <laughs> so you figured it out? Well, you're right. There's no way Mukuro could have pulled off such a convincing performance. But she did teach you all a very valuable lesson, don't you think? Don't fucking touch Monokuma. How can you talk like that? She's you crazy. sacrificed your own sister. How does that not even bother you? She's fucking crazy. What? I sacrificed her? That's what's got you so hot under the collar? Jeez, misunderstandings sure are scary. I don't know if it's the same person that's doing all of her personality voices, but they're genius. We were the ultimate despair, you know? So we never had any kind of hope or expectations. Nope. I felt despair as long as I can remember. Like I never should have been born at all. When I was born, I cried tears of total despair. Oh my god. So that's why for us, it's not a big deal whether we die or kill. We're just those kinds of people. We can do anything. We've always been filled with despair. So when we do something, we go all the way and live without regret. So you just murdered your own sister and didn't think anything of it? That's not true at all. We were twins. How could I not be sad? She's got mushrooms growing out of her head. That's why it gets me so excited. Huh? What? Killing my precious sister with my own two hands. That act is filled with so much despair. You can't help but put a super in front of it. It's like super, 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 super despair. No, more than that. Super, 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 super despair. It just feels so good. What the hell is wrong with you? And my sister too. In that moment of death, I think she must have felt that despair. After all, to be murdered by your own sister, and only as an example to someone else, she must have died feeling such excruciating hopelessness. I'm so jealous of her. Super jealous. I knew you couldn't be just some ordinary person. You're some kind of abnormality. Yeah. Turning your own despair wow. into some kind of fetish. Abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. I'm assuming this goes on for quite a while. Like, genocide Jill is crazy for sure, but this is a whole nother level of nuts. It's great. You're saying I don't compare to some lowly beast that can only kill the weak, right? Yeah, you're better than her, so honestly. So I'm hopelessly attractive, hopelessly brilliant, hopelessly athletic. I'm the hopelessly perfect ultimate human. No, I don't think there's anything perfect about anything you just said. Yeah, Master's way more perfect. Cause on top of everything else, he's got that noble blood. Hmm. Don't you mean had that noble blood? What did you just say? What do you mean by that? <laughs> I killed your family. <laughs> you still haven't figured that part out yet? Man, you guys are so slow! Uh, I'm jealous. She does the Monokuma voice so well. It's not the Monokuma voice. But you yeah. haven't even solved all the mysteries, and yet here you are, yap, yap, yapping away! Are you talking about our memories? You've already solved this mystery, right? I'm the killer, so how about the next one? Maybe you should solve the riddle of your missing memories. Then you can start gloating. Damn straight, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to solve all these mysteries. And then, 
we'll have our victory. Dun, dun, dun. I think it's the perfect place to end this. So I'm going to wrap this part up right here. And when we come back in the next part, we're going to keep going, I guess. This trial is going to last forever, but it's brilliant because Junko has like 15 personalities. So it's lovely. I'm enjoying this greatly. This is a very nice twist. I like this. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.